what they were able to achieve between say 1850 to 1920 was truly remarkable. During this time, diamond cutters were largely expected to retain as much of the original rough crystal as possible. You've got two diamonds here. One is 8.18 carats and the other is 9.12 carats. The average retention on a diamond is about 60% from the rough. Okay, so these, these were, you know, probably as rough crystals, very close to 20 carats. So to finish up with one that's uh, approaching 10 carats, is, it's not easy to do, and cutters were expected to leave what's known as rough skin. So if you think of a piece of wood, let's say you started with a piece of wood and you wanted to shape it to look like a diamond, you'd want to leave a little bit of the tree bark in four spots. That's what the rough skin is. It's, a, it's unpolished, untouched by the wheel, and you'll find it here, 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 and here. In, in, in between each of the, the prongs, so there are four spots on these diamonds that show that. And it's, uh, it's something that was considered to be the, uh, the mark of a skilled diamond cutter to be able to do that. You'll also notice with these diamonds, they're yellow. This is another very common characteristic of old minor and old European cut diamonds, is that they show more body color. So diamonds are 99.9% pure carbon. And the little tiny percentage of other chemical composition elements in its uh, structure cause the color to change. So when you have nit just a little bit of nitrogen, you get a yellow colored diamond. These diamonds would probably be early 20th century, no, no later than 1920. You know, and you could even be late 19th century. Keep in mind, what it took to make these uh, in that time required more skill and more experience and, and steadiness than what's required today. We have mechanized lapidary tools that make it much easier to cut diamonds. A lot of it was sort of belt driven, uh, leather belt driven machinery. It's called a wheel or a scafe. You have this thin little piece of metal that's got diamond impregnated particles in it. Without that, you can't cut a diamond. You know, there's an old saying that a, a diamond can cut glass, but glass can cut glass. The only thing that can cut a diamond is another diamond.